Hi, welcome to Art Wine and Anarchy and the Big Island Art Fair. Today we're here with Kay Aloha. So how did you how did you get started on your project here? I've been an artist for like 40 years now. Started later on in life, but did a whole lot of other jobs, but wasn't really happy. And then I, I came across this technique while working in Asia. They were making jewelry boxes at a factory. And I, I saw that and I said, I could use that technique to create stuff nobody else has ever seen. So I've been doing it ever since then. Yeah, I spent a like, few months in uh, Asia at the factory, kind of spying on them and trying to figure out what it takes to, to, to get it done. For 40 years, I've just been perfecting it. And this is what I kind of do now. So is there any particular piece you want to look at the most? Not really, they're all pretty much the same. This piece is a, it's not a mango. I use a, two kinds of wood right now. One is birch and the other one is mango. They both have their own uh, characteristics mm -hmm. and uh, the end product comes out pretty outrageous like on a mango because of the wood grain. The, the grains play a big, big part of my paintings because I paint with fabric dyes. The, the dyes, they don't cover the wood grain so the, the grains become part of the art. It's almost like creating stained glass on wood. But I, I do furniture, just about anything. Tabletops, tiki bars, sure, yeah. room Anything dividers. with wood, you can put this on it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I kind of do. It's a unique process, so people that see my work, they I don't even have to have my before. name on yeah. it. Yeah. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this. Not around They, they, they know it's mine because I'm the only guy doing it. The only thing that kind of reminds me of is, like you say, like like Chinese lacquerware and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. so the, the, the lacquered wood. I, they don't usually use the wood grains, which is just off the hook the way it adds. It's like, you know, you just polish that up and the, just the wood grains give you, gives it a whole feel. Different uh, end result. It's like Mother Nature being a part of my art right now. Well, thank you for your time. Oh, okay. Shoot, bro. <laughs> <laughs>